I've been listening to some Italian songs. Sanremo 2024. I'm honestly so used to her competing in Sanremo with ballads that I didn't expect her to have such a tune to compete with this year. It's quite catchy. It's very contemporary. I can see the appeal. But that said, I mean, I enjoy the song. But for an Annalisa song, I totally believe she can do and she can serve much better when it's more on the ballad side of music. So this is nice, but it would feel slightly frustrating if she won with this, considering that she's had better in the past. It doesn't take any sense of uh, effectiveness to this song and it is a very good song indeed that would understandably do very well in this year's competition. Yep. I'm the feel-good guy of this year's competition, aren't I? This song exists. It's there. It's fine. There's nothing overwhelmingly earth-shaking about this. It's not extremely memorable. It's just, as I said, a feel-good song that you listen to as background music, maybe. But in a competition, you don't want that kind of song that goes one ear and out the other. So, yeah, of course, I enjoy this. I would listen to this any day. Gazelle. Cute. When you pay attention to it. And I guess that's the main issue with it, is that you really have to stop that to actually let the song do what it's meant or what it's trying to be doing, which is making you feel stuff, but I'm afraid it doesn't do much to me. I absolutely love this beautiful, great, powerful, it transports you, it makes you feel stuff. You know a song is effective when it takes you back to memories or other feelings when you listen to it right from the beginning and that's what it does to me all the way through. It's definitely among the top five songs to me this year. I would be glad if you won and I have to say might actually be quite a big fan of his because every time he competes in San Remo I really love his songs. I always find them to be among the top songs competing. The first time I heard this, I thought it was singing in Albanian. I was gonna say, I guess it is catchy, but there's no guessing really. I mean, if I'm here to talk about what the songs make me feel, really... uh, 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 To put it nicely, it's not one of my favorites this year. It didn't really do much to me. Not usually so much of a fan of what you would call, which I think that is, uh, urban music. This one leaves me cold, I'm afraid. Despite this being of a style that I don't listen to much either, just like the last song, I have to say I enjoyed this one quite well. Catchy somehow. Um, It keeps you drawn into it and um, you really get the gist of it even though you don't understand Italian and um, that's quite a powerful thing to do for a song. I have quite a positive feeling overall about this song. One of the pleasant entries that you are happy to see competing this year. It's not quite by originality or uniqueness that this song will define itself. That said, It's quite nice, I enjoy it. I find it much better than that thing 
she went to Eurovision with 10 years ago. So it clearly has its place in this selection. It's nice enough. Not too offensive, but it's quite current, sounds contemporary. It's good, quite catchy. It has quite a few good qualities. So totally fine with me. I like it. I'll listen to it. When you look at the title, it's actually kind of appropriate to have a picture like that, I guess. It's a nice rock song. Rock song. <laughs> it's not the rock song of the century. It's not even the rock song of the year. But it does the job uh, in which it's entertaining enough. Uh, the guys look fun. They are, they, they are cool. Uh, they are quite uh, funny as well. Contributed making this uh, San Remo season uh, fun and uh, unforgettable. It's a sum of small different factors that makes their presence enjoyable. And I'm not saying this to try and go around the fact that I'm doing this to express my opinion on the song. <laughs> The song is the song is nice. The song is good enough. It's definitely has its place there, so it's cool. I really like this one. I like the way the song is built. Uh there's a power and it's quite dramatic in its build up and then when the chorus comes the drop is so cool and so current and uh so engaging and so catchy as well. You really get hooked by it and all the way through it's really good. It really has this nice sense of Italian modern coolness to it. And I would say that even though I don't really make rankings for this, I would say that it's definitely in the top third or maybe the top half of the songs in competition this year. Okay, I can't quite explain it, but there's something Christmassy about this. It sounds like some sort of classic romantic comedy soundtrack with this, you know, feeling or this sense of too much too much love too, too too much of everything happening and maybe a bit of yearning maybe a bit of perfection maybe a bit of completion it won't set out because it sounds like something we've heard thousands of times before but it still has something in it that makes it pleasant for it to be there in this uh, uh, selection this year and I am quite glad to have a song like that in the selection. You just know that it's one of those songs that isn't that offensive or unforgettable or earth-shaking as a standalone entry but contributes really well, contributes greatly for a selection to be great together.